This is breaking news from Local 3 News. Breaking this afternoon, we are covering the third hazmat call in Chattanooga so far this year. Overnight, I-24 was shut down near McBride Road in Eastridge as crews responded to a truck carrying chemicals that was on fire. Thank you for watching Local 3 News at noon. I'm Latrice Curry. That fire caused evacuations, traffic backup, and the closing of an entire shopping complex. We have team coverage with Grayson Gordon and Jeremiah Beatty with details on how first responders contained this fire, how residents were impacted, and the medical threat the chemical fire posed. Well, about 9 o'clock last night, crews responded to that chemical fire on McBride Road off Interstate 24. Families located half a mile from the fire were under a mandatory evacuation and were sent to a shelter at the Chris Ramsey Community Center. Our Grayson Gordon is near the scene where all of this happened. She joins us now with more on what people need to know right now. Grayson. Latrice, the public needs to know right now that there is no threat to public safety. And you can see right here that there are still some roads closed like this one right behind me. But they are saying that the area is safe at this time. East Ridge and Chattanooga Fire Departments responded alongside many other agencies. Roughly 200 first responders at the scene. We know an 18-wheeler hauling organic peroxide and sodium hydroxide begin to leak. The driver noticed and pulled over onto the movie theater parking lot on McBrien Road, and that is where the truck erupted into flames. The Chattanooga Fire Department it says that no one was injured. There is no potential for any any type of issue going on out there. Uh, the hazards, um, the product, a lot of the product did burn up the ones that were uh, on fire. The other ones are being removed by the environmental cleanup crew. The fire was contained around 2 this morning. Firefighters were able to stay a safe distance and get out the flames by using a special nozzle from the airport. And the cause of the fire is still being investigated. And crews use evacuation zone signs to make sure that all the residents safe. And we will have more coming up on that. Putting here live now in Chattanooga, Grayson Gordon, Local 3 News. Thank you, Grayson. We're going to continue our team coverage with Jeremiah Beatty. As we mentioned before, that chemical spill prompted road closures and evacuations. Jeremiah is live there now with more. Jeremiah. Good e afternoon, Latrice. I'm standing standing on the corner of South Howell Avenue and South Terrace where a lot of residents in this community woke up from knocks by police to evacuate their homes. Now I spoke to one homeowner near where the spill happened and uh, she said she was evacuated around 10 p.m. last night. Kathy Groves and her mother waited at a relative's home for six hours until the area was safe again. She has lived in this neighborhood again for six years and has never seen anything like this. Well, it gave me some answers because at least they told me there, what was going on because we were just seeing all kind of uh, EMS equipment out here and I didn't have a clue. The Chattanooga Fire Department reports when chemicals like organic peroxide and sodium hydroxide burn, vapors are released into the air which can be harmful to inhale. Symptoms related to chemicals like these can cause skin irritation and respiratory issues. Again, we've contacted Park Ridge East, Erlanger, and CHI Memorial who have not seen any patients related to this incident. Residents were able to return again this morning at 5 a.m. We'll continue to update you with more information throughout the evening. Reporting in Chattanooga, Jeremiah Beatty, Local 3 News. All righty, Jeremiah, thank you so much for that live report. The Chattanooga Fire Department recently responded to two other hazmat calls in the area. There was an incident Wednesday evening on Highway 153. A FedEx truck was transporting organic peroxide when the driver smelled fumes and saw smoke. The product was found to be leaking out of its container into the back of the tractor trailer. And just two weeks ago, firefighters contained a chemical spill at the BASF facility on Polymer Drive. Now, while residents were being evacuated, Cookout on Brainerd Road provided food for first responders. Cookout typically closes around 3 in the morning, but they stayed open to make sure that these hardworking first responders were fed while working to clean up that chemical spill overnight. The Hamilton County Emergency Management Agency tweeted this picture thanking the team there at Cookout. 
Well, the area was declared safe around five this morning, but cleanup will last several days. Now, as you can see from our traffic system, South Terrace between McBride Road and Spring Creek Road will remain closed until further notice. The South Terrace Plaza is also closed. We're going to keep you updated on when this area reopens. We'll have that on air and online. And we're going to continue to follow the effects of the chemical fire. Coming up in our next half hour, we're going to hear the 911 calls from when dispatchers first heard about this hazmat issue.